Krakow and uh-huh. have the safety village that's housed there. And there, we've got a, a small crew of Rotarians and uh, Chris O'Brien, the instructor from the carpentry class here, and we're working on the uh, Rotary Pavilion. Well, how about that? I'll bet you have uh, some students helping out then, huh? Well, the students have done all their job. They've, they've constructed the superstructure. Now uh-huh. what we're doing is just trimming up the roof so that we can put shingles on in hopefully sometime this afternoon. Oh, great. We're doing the outside gables and things like that. Well, watch those uh, staple gu- uh, nail guns because, you know, <laughs> every year somebody puts one into his head. <laughs> they, they seem well, th- thank you for that uh, safety note, Reed. <laughs> yeah, watch out. <laughs> I, I'm more concerned about my fingers. <laughs> when you're a musician, you uh, live in fear of doing something. <laughs> yeah, well, God bless you for doing all that. Uh, it's I, a beautiful uh, day, and the uh-huh. pavilion is a 20 by 30. The uh, conservation class had skimmed back the grass, and then the uh, and then the con- uh, carpentry class, they poured the footers, and we've got a big uh, a post that hold up the roof, and uh-huh. uh, uh, hopefully this summer, kids that come to the safety village will be able to come out here and picnic and do outdoor activities, and and then serve throughout the year for a variety of uh, activities. But it's just, if you if you're if the listeners and viewers have never been to the safety village, they need to come here. It's unbelievable. How do they get there? 394, heading towards Jamestown, on uh-huh. the right, you just go to the Bosey Center, and you can't miss it, because it looks like a small city here. Because really? you've got McDonald's, you've got Craig, you need, there's a church, there's a donut, Tim Hortons, we've got a school here, a miniature, everything's in miniature scale. Do they serve little hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call uh, them, sliders? Sliders, <laughs> sliders. that's Applebee's, I think. They give them a little... Uh, out there, but uh, but they have a little small street, coming to scale, uh-huh. and uh, they uh, the kids play or uh, not play, excuse me, they drive small cars, or traffic safety, bus safety, uh, bicycle safety, fire, uh-huh. all kinds of hazardous kinds of things, and the pavilion here that Rotary's putting up, uh, the Westfield Mayville Rotary. Uh, this is going to be just one more wonderful piece to the whole project here. Well, it's a wonderful setup. I hear a lot of good things about it because the kids go over and basically they ride their bikes around and learn to be careful at the streets, you know. Right, and that's and, one age group, but then they learn about fire safety inside the main building uh-huh. where they actually have simulated smoke and heat, and the kids learn to drop, drop and roll and how to have a safety plan for their home in case of a fire. It's just all the good stuff that we always want kids to know but sure. that they and their families are safe. Yeah, well, I, we could thank certain people for. I remember Jurassi, Joe Jurassi, our sheriff. Joe Jurassi, still he, the chairman of the board. He was. Yeah. High, he was the one who got that thing going. He was hot yeah. on it. Him and the Sertoma Club, they really uh, got the whole thing moving, and then we formed the 501c3 Corporation. Uh-huh. I've been on the board for about 15 years. I'm sort of like an uncle to the project. You've been on their board. Uh, yeah, I've been mean, about 15 years. No yeah. kidding. Well, no wonder you're over there working on the pavilion roof. <laughs> yeah. well, but the like Rotary, because you're the president of the Rotary, too, right? As of July 1, that's right. <laughs> I got, we got President Sue Hammond and Jim Wakeman, her husband, myself, and we're waiting on at least one more uh, Rotary, and then we're going to come back probably and do some more work on another, uh, you know, another time. But uh, the kids in the carpentry class did an awesome job. And uh, they've got the main structure up, so we're we're now coming in and you know doing some of the little bit easier work. <laughs> yeah, well, we're looking at a picture of you in front of some kind of a statue. It looks like a big cement pot or something. <laughs> what? That's- I had the feeling. I had a feeling that was from a different location. (laughs) Well, you never know where I'll be, right? (laughs) You never know where you'll be from day to day. (laughs) So, how how long is this going to take you? All day or or tomorrow? We're going to be here till mid afternoon, and then whenever we don't finish, we'll you know some of us will come back later on. Uh But uh, we're Uh, doing the job. uh, How many people are doing it right now? Working on it? There's four of us, and hopefully there's a fifth one in route. Uh huh. Well, that sounds like you'll be able to do the job by the day. Well, yeah. thanks a lot for calling in, John, and uh, for the good, good news. And uh, we hope that the pavilion is well used for many, many centuries. Absolutely. I'm sure All right. It will be. Well, have a wonderful uh, evening or afternoon, and uh, okay. we'll uh, be talking to you soon. Okay, fine. Okay, Reed. Take care. Bye bye. Adios. Bye. Um, Okay, now I had a couple other items I wanted to mention here. So the Lakeshore Seniors, um, Barbara Barberich does the job over there, and uh, she says, uh, drop around. We have a heck of a crowd at Lakeshore. It's a, it's a Fredonia crowd. Mayville Seniors, uh, not last but not least, uh, 63 members attended their last meeting. They have 
60, 70 members come out for every meeting. It's a huge group because uh, that's a lot because uh, that's, that represents a, uh, you know, a small number, the real total. And uh, they have uh, Joyce Ayers running the job over there. If you want to get in touch with her, call anywhere in Mayville. They're looking in Mayville. Happy birthday over there to Bob Cole. And uh, I wanted to uh, say Mary Carlson helped out with the uh, dinner. It was wonderful. They have a great dinner every single uh, uh, two weeks, and they meet at noon over at the VFW in Mayville. Happy birthday to Francis Anderson. This is a life member, Marguerite Brightman and Ross Field, all life members at, at Mayville. That's quite a deal, you know. Betty Johnson, Ruth Aldrey, Ron, and Gloria Mule are celebrating their wedding anniversaries and have a great time. Uh, you know, some of the weddings are 60 years, 55, 60, 70. <laughs> Today's weddings, you know, it's 60 hours. <laughs> 60 days, uh, yeah, 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 trip reporter, they're going to the Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame over there. How about that? Gene Kelsey does a job. Um, the bus will leave from the VFW, and it's going to be fun. At, uh, the Rock and Roll, the Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a fantastic place, I might add. Uh, they have a few seats left for their trip to Tennessee. If you're interested, call uh, Gene Kelsey, 753-2663. Uh, Say, hey. I want to go on a heck of a nice trip, and it's very cheap, and it's a great, a lot of fun. Good company. Carol Mead, Fred Newell, Joanne Harper, Don Getty, and Darlene Getty, new members, welcome aboard. Sheridan Happy, they meet at St. Uh, uh, Bosco Hall. Ellen Suttle is the, is the one who does the job over there, and uh, she wants to say happy birthday to Milt uh, Grubich. Uh, he is now 98 years of age, and they had a big party for him uh, at the Sheridan VFW. Uh, get, get your tickets from your senior groups for the countywide picnic over, in, uh, at, uh, May, over at uh, Midway. Big deal. Chicken dinners, a whole schmear, wonderful thing. Silver Creek seniors, uh, they had a buffet, a luncheon incidentally for Milt uh, Grewich because he is 98 years old. <laughs> I can't beat that. I just want to say Ellen uh, Palmer Titus does the job, and uh, they have a huge crowd. I, I, they're telling me I'm way over at my time, so uh, I've got to say don't miss their annual summer picnic July 10th. They uh, meet over the Stockton Fraternity Grounds, hot dogs, hamburgers, and all kinds of wonderful food. Bring your own, United Seniors. Uh, Charles St. George leads this group, a bunch of seniors. They usually meet at the... Uh, uh, Beaver Club in Fredonia, and uh, the Beaver Tail Catering does their catering. Baked chicken, scallops, all the wonderful, wonderful things are going on. Happy birthday to Alan Jones, Ann Kurgan, Gert Mashka, and uh, Sandy Hellman, among others. Next meeting of that crowd, July 9th. Can't miss it. All right, enough said. They told me I am finished. If I continue talking, they're going to shut me off right in the middle of my speech. Here's a public service announcement for you, and you're going to enjoy this one. It's important. You could choose to join a gang. You could try the latest drugs. You could even choose to drop out of school. You can try to avoid the difficulties in life with a quick fix, or you can face them head on. She did. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Okay, uh, yeah, get your education, it's very important. You, if you don't, you wind up, you know, uneducated, ill-informed, I mean, you become, I have to become a used car salesman or a, <laughs> or a roofer. <laughs> We've got a used car salesman, a real one here, and I'm only kidding. Uh, Steve Newark is a, uh, a working uh, used car salesman, that's his job, he works every day at it, 24-7, he's out there doing cars, and he's, uh, 
He works for Schultz over in Westfield if you ever want to come down and meet him. And uh, he came over here at my invitation to give you some tips on buying used cars. <coughs> He's not here to sell. This is not an infomercial for uh, Schultz or anybody. This is just general information derived from how many years now? 13 years. 13, 13 years, years of, of uh, service in the business. So, Steve, uh, give me a little background. Where are you from? Uh, Silver Creek. Silver Graduated Creek. Silver Creek in 1986. Okay. You, you might even, no, you wouldn't remember. Your father would remember Silver Creek Precision, which was a company there that made little motors, and they made outboard motors. They wound them there, and uh, I remember my friend and I were uh, big shot investors. We bought, uh, uh, I think, 100 shares at 25 cents a share. How'd that turn out? And we went over, well, <laughs> we went over there and said, we'd like to see the place as shareholders. They opened the doors, they gave us lunch, they, they <laughs> gave us the, 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 the tour and the whole smear. <laughs> Did you like royalty? Here we were just a couple of 16-year-old kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they knew we didn't have anything, but uh, we were shareholders. They played right along with you, right? They, they, they were wonderful. That's a beautiful thing. That's what I remember about Silver Creek, plus the fact that the Powers Hotel used to be there, which was my uh, grandfather's brother <laughs> ran it. Okay. So then you moved over, you, you still live in Silver Creek? No, sir. Where We're do going you? to Dunkirk here. We're going to Dunkirk? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, now, uh, whatever got you into cars? Besides, everybody drives one, but uh, I have, I've driven a car since I, was a, uh, since I was 12, as a matter of fact, and uh, back when. Since you were 12? Yep. Back then you could drive when you were 14, legally, but uh, in Florida, which is where I started, but I got nailed here one time. <laughs> driving on my Florida <laughs> license, but uh, God bless them, they let me go. <laughs> <laughs> they so, wouldn't let that happen anymore. Yeah, no. but uh, it was very helpful because uh, my grandfather had a heart attack and I took him at the age of 12 to the doctor immediately who gave him uh, service. All right, so um, whatever did bring you into it, your father was in the business? No, or? actually I was in the retail business and um, I separated myself from that and my father-in-law. What's who's the retail a, business? What do you mean? Um, I worked for my family, Stagecoach West, oh. down in Irving. And what do you and, sell? Cars? Uh, no, no, tack. Okay. Work clothes, work oh, boots, tack. horse tack. tack, yes. Tack, horse stuff, right. Yes. Okay. And uh, are they still there? Yes, they are. I, I thought there was a one. A growing business, a booming business. Huh. Lots of horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my children are into horses, so uh -huh. a well. couple of them, yeah. I see horses more and more around. People have little corrals that set up, you know, little tiny pastures. Yes. They, they like to have a horse. I guess horses are friendly and like dogs, but you just can't sleep with them. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how much you love the horse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, then you wound up uh, over in uh, where? For the Schultz organization. And you started with the Schultz. Yes, and, uh, 1999. Yeah, and you know, we all hear about Schultz, Schultz and everything. And, uh, the we've never met him. Is there a real show? Yes, there, there is. There is a real show. Yes, there is. Fantastic gentleman too. Uh huh. What's yes. his first name? Tim. 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 Yep. Tim Schultz. Yes. And uh, does he does he stop off over in Westfield occasionally? Occasionally, yes. Uh huh. Yes. And he counts the cars. Or <laughs> goes over the books probably. <laughs> <laughs> he weighs the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I um, I'm, uh, I'm a senior, and a lot of seniors are in a real bind. They don't have any money because of the Congress's failure to provide a COLA. They're making half a buck for when they had a buck. And uh, they're really uptight. And some of them need a car. Yes, they do. And you can't afford a new one. New cars are, at this point, one of the inflationary spiral. They're going ape. It's, it's difficult it is to afford hard. a new car. You can, but it's difficult, yes. So, yeah. so tell me, how do you buy a used car? Now, I've seen there's a paper, a newspaper, automobile something or the other, uh, you go there, what there, do you do? There's so much multimedia out there uh -huh. right now as far as finding vehicle. The, uh -huh. the information that is out there now at the click of a button for a consumer is so different than what it used to be. Yeah. It, just information, it's there for you if you need it. The computer? Absolutely. Yeah. Worldwide internet. Uh -huh. People know more about vehicles than I do sometimes. <laughs> they, they go on the net and pick yeah, it up. Huh? That is correct. And the, rate, the most recent stuff. Well, can you run an ad in the paper? Oh, absolutely. Car wanted. Uh, hey, that's good. I like that. Yeah? Yes. And uh, you could respond. You probably get a few responses. What do you have to look for? One of my friends told me that you take the gas cap, the, the, the uh, oil cap off, 
and see if it smokes. If she says if it smokes, don't buy it. How many years ago was that? <laughs> uh, 